Welcome uh, parents and students. Here's a little information between the differences in our pre-cal courses here at Bowie. So we have three different courses for pre-cal offered at Bowie. We have our on-level course, our academic course, which uh, is our geared course for most of the students. We have a pre-AP version of that same course, which is just a little more rigorous. And then we have our UT version of on-ramps. So let's look at a little bit difference between them. Um, so another option you guys could take is AQR or statistics as seniors. We're really trying to get you guys to see the differences in pre-cal instead of the other two. So what's nice about pre-cal is it continues from what we were already doing in all of your previous math courses. It has a nice vertical alignment right after Algebra 2. Um, we will take those Algebra 2 skills and apply them to some things that we haven't done before, like trigonometric functions, polar, and parametrics. They will also make sure that we are taking those same skills and actually applying them to some real world tangible items so that the students can see where the math is leading towards. This is a great way for the students who are looking for a career in the STEM field to see how some of this math can actually be applied. For those juniors that are going to take this course, it is a great way to get ready for an AP calculus course here at Bowie. And for you seniors who are in this course, it is a make your college algebra experience much, much easier next year. Um, some core concepts, really, really vague overview here. On our first semester, we just talk about our, our heavy trigonometric concepts, lots of triangles, unit circle, special radian values, um, and transformations of functions. Second semester, we go back and focus on a lot of our Algebra 2 things, uh, in addition, adding polar, parametric, and then sequences and series for some uh, pre-cal topics to round us out the end of the semester. Uh, the differences for the two courses that are buoy courses, the pre-AP version versus the academic version. The academic version is great for all of those looking to go in again to that STEM track. Um, and the biggest difference there is that Pre-AP is going to cover a couple more topics than just the ones listed in the previous slide. In our academic course, when we do our proofs, the teacher will stand up and provide an example of how to get to those equations from the given information. Whereas in pre-AP, the students will be expected to develop that equation themselves with some information given to them to help scaffold that process. Homework in both classes is going to be expected. Um, but the rigor of homework is just slightly different. In academic, there are very similar problems to what we did in class, easy, medium, and hard problems. Whereas in the pre-AP, you're going to have problems that are related to those in class, and you're going to have to use skills from previous math courses to help you finish the problems in pre-cal. Um, listed on the Larry last bullet item for both of those is the classroom expectation. That classroom hour time outside of class, we're assuming that includes study time for tests, quizzes, and doing the actual homework itself. On ramps is a little bit different because it is a UT course. It is not offered at Bowie. You take your course at Bowie and all the instruction is done at Bowie, but you will receive a UT credit. The curriculum is designed by UT and it is very similar to what we do at Bowie, but it is not in the same order. So changing from on-ramps course at Bowie to a non-on-ramps course at Bowie in pre-cal is a little difficult and needs to be done very soon if you make the switch. One of the biggest, uh, biggest statements about on-ramps pre-cal is that it is not a teacher-led course. It is a student-driven course. They are exploring topics in groups in order to develop information and come up with a common goal. And then the teacher will validate and verify that they did get to the correct point. One of the biggest things that uh, you need to know about the UT on-ramps course is that UT dictates the exam dates and they are not flexible. All of the scoring guidelines are provided by UT to your teacher. This is geared to be a college level course. Lastly, our student expectations. Um, students are expected to use Blend along with other electronic resources throughout the entire course of the year, and students are expected to make up all missing work. Students are encouraged to go talk with their teachers following an absence and are expected to look at information before attending tutorials. Students in this course are getting closer to college and need to make sure that they are gearing towards those study habits. At this time, that concludes our expectations for pre-cal. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact your student's counselor.